Russian President Vladimir Putin said Wagner Group fighters can join the Russian military or head to Belarus. He made his remarks in a televised address on Monday. Wagner Mercenary Group chief Evgeny Prigozhin said his action was in protest and he never intended to overthrow the government. Dasha Chenshova reports. The Russian president has addressed the nation, saying late night that armed rebellion would have been quelled anyway. He said he was directly involved in decision-making to avoid the bloodshed, and that took time, including for those involved, to sober up their minds. I once again appeal to all citizens of Russia, thank you for your endurance, unity and patriotism. This civic solidarity has shown that any attempt to blackmail us and spur internal chaos are doomed. He said the overwhelming majority of the Wagner fighters are real patriots and may now join the Russian army. But he accused the organizers of the rebellion of betraying the country. This statement by the Russian president follows earlier comments made by the Wagner boss Evgeny Prigozhin. In his first public comments since leaving the city of Rostov-on-Don on Saturday, Wagner boss said his march of justice, as he describes it, had not been intended to overthrow the Russian government. Prigozhin said that was a protest against Russian military commanders and that his troops had not signed contracts with Russia's Ministry of Defense. He didn't say where he was or what his future plans are, but noted the efficiency of his fighters, suggesting this march towards the Russian capital showed a master class, as it should have been on February 24, 2022. Russian authorities insist the international leaders have supported Moscow in this difficult time, with President Putin holding phone conversations with Iranian and Qatari counterparts. And Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov also said that he was supported by his international colleagues over the weekend. He also said that during the context on the situation with the U.S. ambassador to Russia, Lynn Tracy, she expressed hope that Russia's nuclear weapons will be fine and called the matter an internal one for Russia. Lavrov added that Russian special services are investigating if Western special services were involved in June 24 events. And Russia's Minister of Defense was shown visiting a forward command post of Western grouping in the area of the so-called special military operation. That is Shoigu's first appearance since Prigozhin's rebellion has started. And the operation in Ukraine is ongoing, with Russia reporting attacks on Ukraine's arms depots. Dasha Chernyshova, CGTN, Moscow.